Hello. Well, mom requested that we not only take videos of uh, special events, but also kind of daily activities that we're doing here in Scotland. So I figured since Mandy is at work this evening and it is my job to go get groceries that um, I would take this chance to do that. And so right now we are on South Bridge. Up towards that way is um, just right around the corner up there is the high street which is where we live. And so this is uh, going away from the castle and um, South Bridge is actually a bridge which I'm standing on right now. It's a whole street that's a bridge that you just never know unless you have these things like this. So this is Cowgate. Um, you don't want to go down there. So this is this is 6.30 at night and you can tell that a lot of the shops are closed. Uh, so that's how they do things. That's how they do things here in Scotland and in the UK. Everything closes very early. There's the comic book shop. Um, Southbridge is not the nicest street. It's a little run down. But we are close to the, the grocery store, so that's nice. This big building up here, which we'll see more of in a second, is Old College. This is the original central uh, building of the university. This is not the original building. The original building has been destroyed, but this is what's been here. This was the site of the college in uh, the 1500s, post-Reformation. Back down that way is the Museum of Scotland. Across the street. Blackwells. Blackwells is um, basically the equivalent of, of Barnes and Noble. It's a very nice store, but we don't go in there because we don't want to get tempted. Now, unlike with United States stores, in the city center, most of the groceries you're going to get are going to be places like this. This is a Tesco Express. Tesco is one of the standard. Um, market stores. Here is Old College, by the way. I can't see it too well at night. Um, and so, yes, you'll have a you'll have a building here on the street, a storefront, and then up above it, you'll have flats. Um, sometimes more stores. Sometimes stores will be multi-level if they're very large. Now there are big stores outside the city center. You know, in kind of the uh, the border areas, the suburbs, whatever. But in the city center, there's, there's just going to be a lots of very small storefronts like this. Now that, I'm not going into that one because it doesn't have that great of a selection. It is somewhat small and basic. And Tesco is not the best deal. Um, so you go to Tesco for things that you can't find the place that we are going, which is Little. And Little is basically like Sam's Club, almost. The, you just kind of go there to get the really cheap stuff, or maybe it's more like more like Costco. This is the, uh, the theater. We haven't been in there yet, but it would be nice to, to go. They have good plays here. Um, it's it's like Costco and, and Sam's Club in that, not that it sells a lot of bulk stuff, but that it sells stuff a whole lot cheaper than anywhere else. The only thing about Little is that their selection changes, and so you can't go there for absolutely everything, as you could for Walmart or someplace like that. This is the Surgeon's Hall. This is a College of Medicine. This is a pound shop. Very scary places. This is one of the, the less nice pound shops. Down this way on Southbridge, past where we're going, they have a lot of secondhand charity shops, which are actually very nice, uh, and which Mandy and I enjoy shopping at quite a bit. 
um, over this direction. You can see this is the main university campus that way. Can't see it too well in the night. Um, this area of the city is heavily Muslim. So there's a lot of Middle Eastern, Pakistani, Indian people, a lot of places like the mosque kitchen, lots of curry shops. Lots of um, halal food. You'll see a lot of that signs there, which basically is, is like Muslim kosher. Um, but they're probably all closed right now. Okay, I'm crossing. Here's a little. So, like I said, little is a it's fairly basic, but it's got a good selection. Um, when we first got here, we just had absolutely no idea where everything was. All the brands are different. It's very confusing. But we're pros now. At Little, it's important to take your own bags because uh, they charge for bags here, so you gotta take your own. That guy's looking at me like I'm not supposed to be doing this, so I might have to cut this off. I actually do some shopping now, so goodbye. Okay, so here's the thing about Scott. These are pickles. But you cannot find, it is impossible to find actual dill pickles in this country. So, what I have to make do with these gherkin slices, which are not the same thing, they'll be good enough. Here we go, Scottish staple. Iron Brew. It's a. Uh, it's got honey in it. It's an orange drink. It's got honey in it. It's kind of like. I mean, it's a soda. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like Big Red, I guess, but sweeter. I'm trying to find the jam. Um. So there are quite a few things different in Scotland when you go shopping. Um, in this part of town, there actually there's a lot of Polish food, because there's a lot of Polish people that live here. Um, so you get weird things like crinkle cut beetroot, pickled red cabbage, things that I would not necessarily want to eat. Chutney, I don't think they have chutney in the United States. This stuff is disgusting deceptive. It doesn't taste like pickles at all. Um, well, I'm not finding any jam. I guess I'll get it at Tesco. But what was the most unusual when we came here? Well, actually here's something else unusual. So in the United States you may have a barbecue flavored chip. And here we have that too, but here we've got roast chicken, bacon flavored, steak and onion, Worcester sauce, a lot of meat flavored chips that you don't find in the United States, including haggis flavored, which are actually not bad. Corn crackers, yes, those are famous here, though we don't have them here in the United States. You get those at uh, Chinese shops. Um, some Scottish cookies. Penguins are one of my favorites. It's actually very difficult to find American-style coffee 
here you have to go to a coffee shop most of the time. Oh, here's some jam. Marmalade. Ha. Raspberry. Um, where's the Nutella? Marmite. Marmite is very famous, though no one here has been able to tell us what it is. It is a mystery. So here's some Scottish candy. Crunchies, arrows. I don't have that great selection here. There's a lot of Metesco, we'll show those. This is interesting. Taste of America. Let's see what the Scottish people think Americans eat. Tesco sauce, Coors Light. Remember, Coors Light is an import here. Hamburgers and hot dogs. Pretzels. Chips. Steak seasoning. Maple syrup. Okay. Jim Bean. Popcorn Oreos muffins. Ice cream sundaes. Not so bad. Hot dogs. Hot dogs are foreign food. They don't have them much here. You have to buy American hot dogs. Okay, so here we are in Tesco. Tesco looking quite a lot like American stores. The candy aisle. Curly Whirlies. Milky bars. Tablet. Delicious. Get your Twix and your Snickers and Kit Kats, but you also get a lot of weird stuff that you don't have in the United States. Pastels. Yeah. Candy is unusual here. Let's see if we can find some haggis potato chips. So like I said, Tesco is a bit more upscale, a bit pricier, but also they have a lot more selection. So yeah, here's the, here's the Polish corner. Just pretty standard. Haggis Pizza. 